G'day legends, welcome to a new video and in today's video we are going to be talking about uh, water photography problems. So Michael sent in a question through my YouTube channel and it's about shooting with dome ports. So with a water housing, uh, you've got flat ports and you've got dome ports and the problem Michael's having is when he's shooting through the dome port, he is actually getting reflection back onto his image, um, which is sort of, you know, ruining his image. So today we're going to talk about why this happens for starters and then we're going to have a solution that uh, you know can help this problem minimize this problem or hopefully get rid of it so let's get started with it okay to start with uh, to explain what we are actually looking at and um, show you a sample i've asked him to send in a picture and this is one of the samples that he sent in so you can see great picture of the surfer and all looks good but down in the bottom left hand corner it's got a bit of reflection and it's actually the inside of the lens so as you can see from the inside of this lens it's got the lens but around the edge it's got sort of a corrugated um, texture which you can see coming up in that so it's reflecting so the dome port sitting the lens is obviously sitting inside the dome port the reflection is coming off the inside of that lens there um, hitting the dome port and reflecting back into the image plane. So, uh, you know, it's coming up and nasty in that image. Not ideal. And sometimes, I've seen this sometimes when even the numbers, so it's got like 17 to 40 in this case, F4 and the Canon, uh, Canon EF lens and everything like that can actually even show up in your image. So um, that really sucks and is not ideal. So we want to try and avoid that. In this case, you could probably clone that in post-production, but sometimes it's over, the reflection comes over the face or it's just, you know, really hard place to clone out and you don't really want to be doing any cloning anyway if you want to get it right in the camera. So this will be more apparent when you are shooting into the light source, so it's shooting into the sun. When the sun's at your back and you're shooting with the light or the light coming in from behind the camera, um, you won't get this reflection uh, at all. Some other lenses like the 8 to 15 fisheye actually don't have the rim. And I've shot a lot, a bunch of my dome work has been with this particular lens, the 8 to 15 mil. And because it doesn't have the rim, I've never, you know, really experienced this problem. I do shoot with this 17 to 40 and now I've got a 15 to 35 and it does have the detection rim around it. But a lot of my work when I do that sort of stuff is, um, not necessarily directly into the sun. So I've got to say that I personally haven't had the problem too much. There's been a couple of times that it's come up, um, I've cloned it out. So I haven't actually employed any of these techniques um, that I'm going to suggest today. However, I'm gonna switch into them just because like if it just ruins the, that perfect image one day, um, well, you don't want that. But yeah, anyone shooting with the 8 to 15 is probably not gonna have that, that problem as much. Now just, before I go into the lens solution, I always get asked about this dome port and it's got these sticky tabs here. And this dome port features in a lot of my videos. And um, these sticky tabs are designed so you can put a black piece of non-reflective fabric on the inside of that because this surface is slightly reflective. So I suppose Aquatec were um, you know, putting this there so you can put that non-reflective um, piece of fabric there. I pretty much rarely use that. Uh, anyway, because I don't have too many troubles with it reflecting off there. And the more times you're going to have that reflection off the inside of that um, the lens. But you know, just I always get asked about those sticky tabs, so I thought I'd just put that into this video as well. Now, let's come up with a solution for this. Okay, so they there are there's a few hack jobs, there's a few homemade jobs that you could uh, you could get around and get this this working for you. Uh, the first is just to uh, stick black tape on the inside of that, you know, that inside of that ribbed surface to cover up the all the writing and also that that line. So you can use um, either non-reflective black tape, or you could use uh, that masking tape that's sort of got a, you know, it's got quite a texture on it. It's non-reflective, and you can color that in black with a black texture. It's gonna work probably and it's a good way to get out of trouble if you say going out for a shoot right now and you're worried about reflection you're going to shoot into the light and you thought oh maybe i should and you could probably make that happen in your house right now however there is a better solution and that is through 
a brand called Icolite who make housings, but they also make these anti-reflection rings and they make them for all the major lenses. You can see there, they make them for Sony and Canon and uh, mostly all the wide angle lenses. They've got them for Nikon, Nikon lenses. They've got them for pretty much all the wides because this, is, this problem is really only really gonna happen with the wide angle lenses because you're only using wide angle lenses through the dome ports. And if you can just, I'll just zoom in on that. It's like 10 bucks to get one of these, you know, stick on pieces of fabric. So like, you know, you can stuff around with masking tape and black texture and you can even color in your lenses, but even then they're still gonna have the rib texture on the Canon lenses. And I think the Nikon lenses definitely got them as well. Or you can just like 10 bucks, drop 10 bucks on these. And if it's if it's been a hassle to you, 10 bucks is gonna save like even one of your photos, it's worthwhile. So I'm gonna buy one for my 15 to 35 lens um, and uh, get it ordered in as AP because like, yeah, like I said, if it saves one photo, it's worth it. So a couple of solutions for you there. I'll put the link to the Icolite website in my description in uh, below the YouTube video. If you're watching this on Instagram, uh, just DM me and I can send you the link for you and you can solve this problem. So just a little hack video today. If you want to learn more about what I do, I, can, I have a full extensive YouTube channel with plenty of videos, but I also do free training or free water photography training, a 40 minute training, which you can sign up to. I'll put the links below and I've got a comprehensive course as well on photography and I'll put links on below. If you are interested in Aquatech, I use Aquatech housings and have for 20 years and rate them highly in the surf. The Aquatech company has been kind enough to give um, all of my followers and my members of my water photography course a 10% discount throughout the year on all of their gear. So you can save hundreds if you're either updating your housing or you are getting your first housing, your housing for the first time. So if you've got any questions about that, um, let me know, I'll put the links below to get you the code word to get you 10% off. But please reach out with any questions. This is how this video is made. Just a question from Michael. Thanks for your question, Michael. And hopefully you can get one of these pieces of black fabric or color in some black tape and you will have no more pro problems with reflections. Thanks for tuning in today, legends, and we'll see you soon.